G'day guys, welcome. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Paul Avery. I uh, live in Toowoomba, Queensland, Australia. Just opened up this YouTube channel just to share a few adventures that have been going on and just really want to get into the, you know, the filming of this sort of stuff just to show me kids when I get older, when they get older. Um, a little bit about me is I have three children. I've got a missus, I've got a full-time job as a meat manager at a local supermarket. Um, yeah, so basically this weekend I'm going out, so I'm going to have three days out, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, down at the Gundawindi River. Um, going to take the boat, everything's in here, everything I need is in here, packed, ready to go, so I'm just going to park the car, put the boat in, then we're going to boat down the river until we find a nice spot and then um, pull up and set up camp. Spend three days there fishing. Um, <clears throat> probably going to do a bit of trolling, uh, flicking spinner baits, and then we're going to use some saltwater yabbies, some worms, see if I can get some shrimp while I'm down there, get some yabbies while I'm down there, that'd be good. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's what this video is going to be about. So I hope you guys out there that are watching this enjoy um, what I'm doing here. Um, and yeah, it's just a bit of fun, so it's not serious, but um, yeah. So guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, enjoy. Okay, I'll just run you through some stuff that I'm taking out. Well, I'll try and get through everything, but we'll just make it quick. So, just taking my lures out. I've got a heap of sorted lures. Um, I've got a heap of stump jumpers. Some jackals. Um, you know, a couple of little stump jumpers there. I've got some cheap ones as well. I don't really use them too much. I always use the uh, jackals for bass, but... This particular time, we are going to use spinner baits, and I'll just show you that in a minute. That's some. I've got some yabbies, some of these. Um, there's some more spinner baits. They're just cheap ones I bought off eBay. Yeah, just going to take me tackle, just to make some quick adjustments when I need to. Righto. So rod wise. So I'm taking this one, which is uh, Alpha Shakespeare, just a, you know, I think it's just a cheap one, but she's going to be set up for bait, with just a hook, and on the end just a sinker. And then we come over here to this one. This is another Shakespeare. I've got it rigged up with a spinner bait that I just bought, so we'll give that a go. Um, this one here is a, another Shakespeare. And it's just hooked up with a really little hook. So, give that a go. And this one here is my uh, Shimano rod and reel. I just bought it. So, you know, it's a $120 package. Um, and I've got it hooked up with a cod spinner bait. So, we'll give that a go. See how that one turns out. But yeah, they're the rods. This is my little esky. I'll take my little esky, put my bait in that. Um, if we come over here, I've got my swag, which comes with a stretcher and everything that's in the boat. Um, it's a dome swag, you'll see that when I get out there. I've got a stretcher for my daughter, swag for my daughter. Unfortunately, it's not a dome, but we just pitched it up and she seems to like it. Um, I've got my chair. I've got my two boxes that I'm going to take out. I've sort of got my food box with my, you know, like cups, forks, knives, all that sort of stuff in there. Um, jug. And then, yeah, I've just got some potatoes wrapped up, ready to go in the fire. I've got some snacks. I've got some chips. Um, I've got some M&Ms down there. Some pork crackle. got some jerky. You know, just little nibbly food for the daughter as well. And then this box is going into my... Um, gas light, I got a bag with heaps of stuff in it, you know, like um, Panadol, bug repellent, fly net, paracord, little baggies, alfoil, just that sort of stuff. Um, got a couple of torches, I got some paper towel, got my axe, shovel folds out, some toilet paper, got a gas stove, I got some more bug repellent, um, I got some spare batteries and whatnot down in there, and me knife as well don't forget that so I got my buck 
which is that one. And then we go into my Becca. So I bought that off online, so it took about a week to get here, and then I just got my dad's mate to make a wooden handle for it. It, it came up pretty nice. You know, no complaints there. It's really comfortable anyway. You've done a great job. Um, and then, yeah, I usually take my fireplace, my portable fireplace, with me, but this time I'm not just because I'm trying to keep it light. Um, and then, yeah, in the boat I've got my big esky. It's coming. I leave my little, I've got my little esky for bait, and that one there is for my cold food and drinks and beer and all that. There's my stretcher. That's my stretcher for my swag, and that blue bag behind there is for my daughter. It's a chair. Um, I'm gonna take me, me bush boots out. I've got me grill and me flat grill there, like a griddle type thing. Um, I've got me live tank bait, just hooked up to the boat like that. So if we do catch a few fish out there, they just go straight into there if they're keepers. I've got a 25 horsepower Suzuki on the back of me 399 Stacer. I've got a, it's a 30 hour amp battery in here, so plenty of power. I've got some, I've got a socket there to charge me phone and whatnot and computer if uh, like my um, little tiny iPad type thing. Um, I've got a portable shower there, so we just hook her up to the battery and shower off the back of the boat. Um, to keep the battery full when I'm not doing anything and just working and family and whatnot, I just hook her up to this, the old Oz Charge. She does a great job, just keeps it topped up all the time. It's it's a beauty. I've um, got 20 litres of water. And now it's got a bucket. I've got my little bucket full of stuff like my fish finder, my electric controls there, sunscreen, bug spray. I've got some fishing line there. Always take some gloves out, got some knives got a Leatherman, it just sits there like that. Um, got firewood, just gonna take some just in case because I've been caught before when there's not a lot of wood around. Um, yeah, it's the electric. Make sure I get the spare. It's actually not mounted there. I just put it in the back of the boot of the car. I wanna get it mounted one day. But yeah, until then, she just goes in the boot. And other than that guys, that's pretty much all we're taking. We've just got to throw our bags in, fill this esky up with all our cold stuff that's in the fridge and freezer at the moment. So it's Thursday tomorrow, so I've got one more day of work and then um, one sleep away from, or two sleeps away from going out Friday morning. So looking forward to it. Fish coating, if we catch some cod, put some veggies, butter, some cheese sticks, mushies, ham, some baby whites to clean ourselves up, some spare batteries from a portable fan, batteries from a headlamp, some wipes, we get dirty, wipe down you know, anything. Put some packet gravy, loaf of bread, which is going back in the freezer, some iced coffee, Put some drinks for tiara. Just uh, that's beef um, and a bit of off, not off, but going off beef. So that'll be right. 
a couple of livers. Uh, that's lamb's fry, so lamb liver. Got myself a shoulder roast. Got him on a markdown, so half price, which is good. Give that a crack. And then this one, we've got. Oh, what have we got in here? We've got turkey wings. Marked down again, so cheap. Got some bacon, got um, some more veggies in there, got some pork rashes as well. So I think this will keep us going for three days. Anyway, that's what's here and whatever else is in the esky and everything. So, but yeah. Just packing the esky up with all the coal stuff. Got to bring the car in, hook the boat up, um, and that's about it. And then we're just going to head out. So stay tuned.
road now. It's Friday morning at 7.47. It's gonna take about two and a half hours to drive out to Gundwindi, so we've got a little bit of a trip ahead of us, but it's a nice day, beautiful, a little bit windy and warmer, but it doesn't look that bad coming this way, so it should be good times. So we got here, it's 10.30, now we just put the boat in, I'm going to park the car, and we are going to head, so it's good to be here. So we've had a uh, shower, a bath in the creek, got soaked up and the shampoo and whatnot. so we're feeling really clean right now. The flies are really bad at the moment, but um, basically we're just waiting for one of my mates to come out here. He's just 
had to go to Toowoomba for an interview today and then he's driving back so he's going to meet us out here this afternoon so we can do some fishing together. <laughs> Tiny yellow, make it look huge. Bring it up to the girls. <laughs> a little yellow belly. Is it? Yeah, that's oh, a little that's cod. Me, that's me first cod ever. Really? Yeah, that's me first cod. Woo! Woo! But we should be, um, go down and have some fun, I think. Yeah. Another nice little cod there. He's only about 20 centimetres, but he's not too bad. I want to start Water Yabby. Nice little light gear there. He put up a little bit of a fight. We've got a, a what is it? A Alpha. That's a, sh a Shakespeare. Shakespeare. No worries. Beautiful. One. So what we've got here... There's a little Shakespeare going off again in fresh water. And that might be a little carpy. It's almost going to be big. A little carp, maybe. We're only running, what, 12 pound? This is, yeah, 12 pound. 12 pound monoglon with a two foot tracer with saltwater yabby on. Putting up a bit of a fight or? No, not really. She's here he is coming up here right here. She hasn't. Oh, there she goes there. She had a big kick then. That must be. A bit decent. Might be a good little yellow belly. It's not. It has a good little kick in there. That's a decent little yellow. Coming in. Let's see if I get a shot. Coming up there, coming up. Coming under the boat. Oh, pulling back out. Taking me for a walk. Bring him up here. There we go, he's coming up, he's coming up. Right, oh, no. give him a deep bit of a Yankee Doodle. Warn him down, pull him up, make him come up. There he is. Oh, another little cod! Yee a cod! Another little a cod! Don't pull! Oh, that's a good track. <laughs> hey. So we've got there's a nice McIntyre warrior. Nice little fella there. Hopefully we get a 70 or an 80 centimetre fella. Top him oh, up in yeah. there in the 25 pound mark. You alright there? So on site water yabby. Second cod. Not bad look. He's enjoying it. Mm. Loving it. So right now we're back at camp. We're just cooking up some dinner. Uh, not a bad day out. Um, it was a long one, but we caught some cod and some yellows. Uh, I didn't videotape any of the yellows because they were just little fellas. But um, yeah, it's been a good day all in all. We're gonna probably just hit the bed, doing a bit of nighttime fishing. So if we get anything on them, we'll sure to get some footage of that as well. But other than that, I'll just show you what we're having for dinner. So right now for dinner, we are having we're having pork rashes, a couple of mushies. Oh, that smokes bad. Some peas and some. Potatoes wrapped in our foil down there with some butter and salt and pepper. So yeah, that's dinner. And we have little Miss Tiara hiding under here. <laughs> and there's my bed. I can't wait to get into that. It's gonna be so comfy. morning. Oh, what a night. No, I'm talking to the camera, darling. It's a good sleep. I was a little bit worried. It's been pretty good. Could have slept a little bit better. That fire was smoking last night, but anyway. 
definitely time to check our pots and lines. Just about to get up and grab a coffee. Nothing? Do you want me to go get that white bucket? Yeah, we're going to need it. Just hit these fellas. Can you help me or what? <coughs> Grab that one. Grab okay. him. You just do it real quick. Will he bite me? No. If you grab him behind him like a yabby like I've taught you, he won't get you. Grab him right on the back, not the tail. On the back. Okay. On his back, yep. Now pick him up and he won't get you. See? There you go. This flicks. Come! We're going to cook up some brekkie here, I'm um, just going to have some bacon and eggs and then we're going to take this bait and we're going to go down to the river, we caught them cod last night and we're going to throw in again and see how we go. The baby one. I'm not scared of the baby ones. Mm. I need the big fat ones. Get out of there. come down here this morning. Um, we've just thrown the lines in, we've been here about 10 minutes and I've just got onto something. I'm pretty sure I had some um, saltwater prawns on this one. So this one's a good one, this fish. This is better than what we had last night so we'll see what it is. backed off so I don't snap my lines. I've only got 12 pound line and the last thing I want to do is get broken off. Oh, big carp! Oh, we got a big carp. So How come it has a yellow mouth? Oh, an orange mouth. These are a pest. Is he going again? Yeah, so he's going again. So is it good that you bought one of these? Oh uh, yeah, you're not allowed to throw them back, so we have to actually dispose of it. It's got a good fight about it.
downstairs. Sit back. Is that blood out of his mouth? Poor thing. There he is there. Is that, is that a cat? <gasps> is that hooked in his eye? This is Tiara's third ever cast. She had the first one was perfect, second one was perfect. I just want to get it on video, so let's see if she can do it again. Okay. Give it a go. Another perfect one. Look at that. Good girl. I'm proud of you. Something's jumping in the water over there. Probably one of those duck things. She's already a pro. Easy peasy. for Tiara, she can pull it in. There it is. Right, I wheel him up before you walk forward. When you're walking with it, you got to reel it in. Yep. Tighten your drag up. No. It's gone. Eight, one, one, one. See how she goes with putting a worm on a hook. First time ever. So just stab him through there. Stop moving. Yep, put him through. Can't get it to stop moving. Just commit, just go straight through, bang. Go, yep, good job. Yep, now, now put it through a couple more times. Like, like that. Yep. yep. Go there. Yep, good. Push right through. Stop. Pushing through. Mm, you had him. Yep, perfect. Now straight through. Just commit. Suicide. Oh, perfect, look at that. That'll do. Right Suicide. So just drop your hook down. So now you just, you got to watch what's behind you and what's above you. And then just like normal, throw it out. Yep. 
Perfect. Good job. So now just open your bale and walk it back to where you want to put it. Next time we come we'll have some rod holders for inland. Cool. You get those ones with the bells on it. So, we've had a heap of fun out here. It's been good. We've only been here for yesterday and today. So, it's Saturday today. It's about 11.40 at the moment. So, we've had a little bit of change of plans. I've got my mate that I was fishing with yesterday. He's invited us over to stay at his house tonight. So, um... We're sort of just packing up now, and he's going to come and pick all my gear up. He's going to drive in, pick it up, drive it back to his place, but I'll take the boat and I'll just boat back up the river. of this big ass carp. <laughs> you know they're cheap. You know they're throwing these back, aren't you? You have to beach them. Don't look right near me. Not again. Good one, eh? Good cup. So here he got, Paul Avery again. He's back at his master plan. Just brought this new fella. He's running what, four pound, 12 pound? Six pound. Six pound. And he's on a little nice little cod lure. And we think we may have. No, this one's the uh, worm. Oh, the worm. Oh, I thought you had on the new it's lure. Only a little tiny fella, whatever it is. Yeah, we've seen that before. So here we are, sitting smack bang in the Mako. Back at it again. See, we always catch fish when Walshie's about. It's tiny. And he's a nice little yellow belly. A tiny yellow On worm. So. Get right down. There he is there. Big fella. Oh, little, nice little yellow belly. Can we get in here? That's actually pretty good. Yeah, I'll show you. Okay, I'll just video on. So we made it home, it was a good three days out, fishing and catching up with the daughter and me mates and his daughter and his, his uh, missus. So yeah, it was a uh, good trip all in all, had a great time. But um, we're home now and it's time to get back to work and school and all that good stuff and see how long it takes me to edit this video, could take two, three days, four days, but like I said, I've only just opened this channel up, so it's not like any of you guys are waiting. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that, because I definitely did. We'll see you on the next video.